scenario, a local high school has multiple floors in its building. The middle floor is where the chemistry classes are and that is what is being displayed. There are stairs to the left that comes from the top floor where the physics classes are and there are stairs that lead to the bottom floor where the biology classes are held at. All the stairs and the floors at the schools have been waxed so it is frictionless. Question. You are going to label the following energy as increasing, decreasing, or remaining constant. The first scenario is when the basketball rolls down the first flight of stairs to this chemistry class. The answer, potential energy would be decreasing because the height is decreasing as it goes down the stairs. That decrease in gravitation potential will translate to the increase in the kinetic energy. There's also an increase in the rotational kinetic energy because the ball starts to rotate. In this scenario, the energy is the energy of the system is actually opened because someone has to start pushing the ball to get it down the stairs and rolling. Next, when the basketball reaches the chemistry floor, it starts to roll down on the flat chemistry class floor where the floor has been waxed so there are no friction. The potential energy here will actually remain constant because the height does not change on the chemistry floor. The translational kinetic energy, which depends on its linear velocity, does not change, so it's still remaining constant. And the rotational kinetic energy is also going to remain constant because nothing is affecting the rotating motion of the ball. The last scenario is when the basketball rolls down the chemistry floor stairs before landing on the biology floor. What happens to the potential energy? Well, that is going to be decreasing because there is a decrease in the height. That decrease in height is going to go into the kinetic energy only. Why? Because the rotational kinetic energy is remaining constant. The rotation kinetic energy can only occur if there is a friction force that is turning the object. Notice that all the stairs here are frictionless, so there is no way for the ball to actually rotate and gain rotational kinetic energy. At the start, the only reason why there is a gain in rotational kinetic energy is because someone pushes it and rotated it at the start. Okay, as it goes down the scenario, the rotational kinetic energy actually remains constant. The change that occurs is regards to the translational kinetic energy from the gravitational potential energy, which comes from it going down the stairs.